Uh, it's my first video for a 2005 Dodge Dakota 3.7 liter V6. We're going to do a heater core change. Uh, now the, uh, the basics, obviously you got to disconnect the negative from the battery, uh, drain the fluid, and then uh, I usually uh, start with the interior. So um, as you can see, I've already taken the console out and uh, a couple of the pieces we get the side pieces for the side bolts on the side here for the dash and then obviously the ones on the second side there and then we have at the top here we've taken the uh, the handle grips off we're getting in and out of the four-wheel drive vehicle and uh, so i've taken those off and then obviously this panel here is just a snap-in so all you got to do is just take a screwdriver and pop each one of them off from from one side to the other this way you can at least access all the bolts on the dash so that you can remove the dash on the sides there. Um, as for the console, it was like uh, eight millimeter bolts. I think there was two, four, there was five of them to get the console out. Um, as for the rest of the dash, uh, you have to drop the steering wheel down. There's uh, four bolts there. And then you have to take the uh, few of the items off and I'll uh, go through that on the uh, rest of the video here once I start getting them off. So now you're going to use a, uh, a T20. Um, obviously it's a, a drive uh, for a screwdriver. There's two here and then there's uh, two at the bottom to uh, take off to get this panel off. But you got to make sure that you take your emergency brake cable off. As you can see down here, I've disconnected it from the red one. and we'll go from there. So now that you got the uh, the panel off here you got uh, a few screws you just use a uh, uh, star screwdriver and you got uh, six bolts that come off they're all around here and then you just pull them off. There's a couple of excess uh, screws that you just hang on to you just take them off and uh, this one here you can just let drape down for now and uh, you can take them off after. Okay, now that we we got this uh, the panel off. I like to put my screws back in so that uh, I don't lose the screws or anything like that. So now we've got the uh, uh, the um, the plug out for the dash, and then obviously we have the uh, hood release. We've uh, taken off with the the two screws. And now what we need to do is we need to go under here, and we need to take there's four screws or four bolts off. Actually, there's two for the steering column, and then there's two or there's four for the uh, actual column itself that, that we have to take off so we can drop the steering wheel uh, to move the dash over so we can get at the uh, the uh, control box for the heater core. As you can see now we've got the four bolts that are out and then the steer column just drops down so it's uh, relatively easy and they're the same size uh, uh, nuts, they're 13 mil, so just make sure you use the deep socket. So now that we got uh, the steering column down and uh, just sitting on the on the seat, there should be more than enough room to to uh, take it off. So you're doing the 10 millimeter bolts, two on the left side, two on the right side, and then you got five on the dash up front. But there's also two on the very bottom here. You can see right by the. Uh, right by the computer so we'll take those two bolts off and then the uh, the dash should just slide to the side okay so now we've got the now we've got the dash out apparently there was two silver bolts that I had forgotten about so here's one of them there they fit up inside there that connect to the, uh, the this frame here to the dash and then you should be able to make sure you unplug this one here that's for the uh, the lights so when you're, you just have to move it off to the side just enough room for you to get the uh, the control arm out or the uh, the core out. So you just have to make sure that you move everything to the side here, and that way you can uh, get at your uh, your box here. So just a couple of bolts. There's I think they're 10 mil, and uh, just make sure you unplug everything before you take it out. So now that we got everything taken off here, so we got a couple of bolts here. And uh, as you can see, the it's a little loose right now. We just have to do the. Uh, I think there's, I believe there's three uh, nuts that are on the firewall that you have to take off. So 
and then disconnect the uh, heater core hoses and then uh, this unit should uh, be able to come out with uh, relatively ease.